Consider a plant that has endured civilizations for countless years and now has the potential to revolutionize agriculture today and contribute to feeding an increasing world population. That plant is the giant maize, grown in the southern Mexican town of Totontepec, and its slime could be the solution to the challenge of sustainability. Scientists have been studying the big maize more closely in recent years and have found that its slime may contain an alternative to some of the pressing issues associated with the supply and demand of food worldwide. Watch till the end to learn about the extraordinary qualities of this ancient maize. Long forgotten old giant maize. The indigenous farmers have been growing this enigmatic maize for decades, and probably even longer. According to oral tales, it is over 2,000 years old. The giant cobs, some of which may weigh up to 1.5 pounds, are produced by the maize plants, which can reach heights up to 20 feet. Traditional foods made with maize include tamales, tortillas, and atole a hot beverage made with corn. The incredible maize slime, which is created when the kernels are soaked in water, is one of its most intriguing features. This slime, called tejate, has a thick, foamy consistency and is typically used to create a cool drink. The scientific community pays attention. Although the enormous corn has long been prized for its nutritional benefits and cultural importance, scientists have simply lately begun to pay attention to its special characteristics. While this old, enormous maize variety is known as Oloton by the locals, it took almost 30 years to assemble a team to research the interesting Mexican maize. Even in Mexico, secret fields of this corn remained mostly unknown to the general public until 1980. Scientists from all around the world are interested in the possibility of using Tejate as a source of nourishment. The scientists established a lab there so that the villagers who kept this fabled plant alive could now assist them in their studies since they realized that community engagement was essential to their success. The supersized maze, which was around 16 to 18 feet high, drew the attention of an agricultural expert who lived in Oaxaca. Because American kinds are only capable of growing up to 10 feet or so, he described viewing it for the first time as mythological, an unrealistic secret crop held by generations of farmers, unlike anything he had ever seen before. Additionally, researchers from the University of California, Davis, have been working with indigenous farmers in Oaxaca to examine the corn and its slime. They have discovered that a range of food items, including protein bars, baby food, and even vegan cheese can be made using this slime. How Slime Can Help Revolutionize Agriculture this maze was not only enormous, but it also featured odd projections that extended from the joints of the stalks like fingers and drizzled a thick, sticky, mucilaginous slime. The nitrogen surge required for the plants to grow their astonishing gigantic sizes appeared to be delivered by these aerial roots, which meant farmers seldom needed to add artificial fertilizer to the soil. The only issue was that everyone who heard it thought a maize plant producing its nitrogen was from science fiction. Since cereal grains are the primary source of energy for the whole world's population, none of them can restore their nitrogen levels and must rely on what can be collected from the soil surrounding them. As a result, farmers must apply massive volumes of nitrogen-rich fertilizer to their fields in an effort to maintain consistent and high crop yields. Although this technique is costly and hazardous for the environment, it is still used since people need to feed. This novel maize slime has the potential to revolutionize everything by providing a biological workaround for a widespread issue with our agricultural food sources. It has been identified that the slime contains significant concentrations of nitrogen-fixing bacteria that are typically found in soil, but the gel the plant secretes serves as a barrier shield, reducing oxygen levels to allow the bacteria to transform atmospheric nitrogen from the air into a substance that the plant can absorb. This is effectively the agricultural ultimate treasure since it enables the fabled maize to obtain 80% of the nitrogen it needs from the air. Many people began to wonder who possessed ownership of this maze that had the potential to change the world, which brought fuel to the fire known as biopiracy, which is the misuse of ecological diversity for research or commercial development that fundamentally loots the source, excludes the locals, and profits greatly. Many times, as with the Oloton corn, the indigenous people who have nurtured and maintained this crop for centuries are telling the rest of the world that it is more than just a crop. It is part of their culture, heritage, and way of life. In essence, they are relying on the labor theory of property, which is credited to John Locke and states that whoever did the work should own the results of their labor. 
the output of the Olotone cannot compete with the current industrial scale. So scientists must crossbreed it with other varieties to discover if they can achieve both maximum output and the almost magical quality of self-fertilization. Sadly, this enormous discovery is not yet being utilized. They have so far been able to cut the growth period in half and increase nitrogen uptake by 40%, but they believe they are still three to four generations away from stabilized hybrid maize. From maize, it would be a straightforward process to modify other cereal crops like rice or wheat so that they could use atmospheric nitrogen. This would have a significant worldwide impact on lowering the use of chemical fertilizers, which are harming natural systems. Overall, Totontepec's massive maize is an exceptional crop with the potential to significantly contribute to the world's food supply. Its toughness, nutritional worth, and distinctive features make it more appealing. This concludes the discussion for the day. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Until next time, take care and stay tuned.